Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, July 19, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And this was a horrible day on Friday. Main reason US dollar continues to appreciate and that works against this currency pair. We're still kind of trending uh, sideways in this square. We are approaching the bottom of, uh, of the square, break below here, then we could go towards uh, the 300 moving average. So we're up here, 1400, uh, for, uh, 14, um, 00, and the bottom right here at the 1374, give or take. So yes, going up and down, we have found massive uh, resistance here at the 20 exponen exponential, and then drop below the 200 moving average, and now we are approaching this uh, very bottom. Technical indicators and MACD is becoming bearish. The RSI is flat. The CCI is bearish. Stochastic is very bearish. And we're approaching the bottom of the bullish band. So we could, it's a question. If we break below here, then the 300 moving average comes into play. And that is kind of drop of roughly 1.4% to the downside. To the upside, 20 exponential and the 150 moving average have offered resistant in the past. So US dollar, Japanese yen. So this rallied up towards the 20 exponential and then gave most of these its gains back. So this was basically trading within a channel, broke out of the channel and now we're trading sideways. Usually it basically break, breaks lower or starts trading sideways. So this is kind of a good sign that we could be heading back towards this channel in uh, basically in the medium run. So 100 moving average is offering massive support and the 20 exponential is at the moment uh, offering resistance. So we're just going back and forward. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is very bearish, the RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is bearish as well. We did get close to the middle of the bullish band and then broke down. We're basically in the middle of nowhere. And at this point, it is a pure gamble. We can rally to the upside, basically break to the downside. Um, it is a currency pair I'll just stay far away from. So Euro, Euro and US dollar, this just continues to gradually go towards 1170, which most likely will be the target here. If we break below this, then 1160 will be the next target. And after that, basically a major meltdown in this currency pair. So US dollar, it is uh, appreciating. And of course, that basically means that this will also start depreciating this, uh, this um, currency pair. MACD is uh, bullish at this point, RSI is bullish, and CCI is bearish, and Stochastic is still bearish. We're basically in the middle of nowhere here in the bullish band, so rallies up towards the 20 exponential they have been sold into, so as long as that is the case, we'll probably just grind lower towards 11.70. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, this broke below resistant uh, support on Friday, and at this point, it kind of looks like this is just going to drop um, towards uh, 0 0.70 or 0 0.69. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is very bearish, RSI is flat, CCI is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so on. So Australian economy is basically locking down, or the country is locking down, or parts of it, as I understand. And of course, that will be just horrible for uh, the, the economy and also their currency. So rallies up towards the 20 exponential they are most likely going to be expected to be sold into you can see right here we can also see it here and also here that we get up towards the 20 exponential and then we basically just break down we're at the bottom of the bullish bands but there's still a lot of room to the downside and as we basically broke support on friday it is fairly likely that we'll just continue going lower so US dollar, Canadian dollar, this has really broken to the upside. We are way above the 200 moving average at this point, and the 300 moving average is kind of in reach, and that's another rally of roughly 1% to the upside. We are at the top of the bullish band, so pullbacks at this point towards the middle of the bullish band, that is probably going where uh, buyers will come back in. That will be roughly at the 20 exponential, and uh, if you look at the other technical indicators, they are looking really good. MACD is bullish, RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, and so is stochastic, but we are getting very overstretched here. We can see what happened last time. 
we broke down, but these breakdowns are at the moment buying opportunity as we are completely changing uh, this downward trend that we were in for one year. And now we're basically going up. So hope you find helpful in your own support channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And good luck and thank you very much.